Hi guys, uh, this is Taylor Fabus. For those of you I haven't met, welcome to the Michigan 4-H Horse Program's Facebook page. Periodically we do these little live videos and I'll be doing a lot more this summer since a lot of you are stuck at home and at least not being able to go to face-to-face 4-H -face events. So um, we want to make sure you still get some awesome knowledge and I have some good stuff for you today. Life-changing information, all right? For when you do get to wear a cowboy hat, whether it's in showmanship or if you're riding, what have you. If you think it's a windy day, I don't even care if you don't think it's a windy day. If your hat is not super tight on your head, then you should learn how to pin it on your head. Um, so Morgan, my niece, also a Clinton County 4 -er, is going to be my beautiful model today. Um, all you need is a cowboy hat. This is her new hat that she just got, and it's beautiful. And we need bobby pins. Huh? And we need bobby pins. So all you need is a hat, a head, and bobby pins. I will say it doesn't work as well for men, um, unless they do have some long hair, and then this can totally work as well. All right, but this, these two little doohickeys, will ensure that your hat stays on, okay? I have seen people having to ride and worry about their hat. I've been there before, okay? The judges don't love to see that. It distracts you from your riding. It's not a great look. So if you don't wanna wear a helmet, cause you can always do that, there is not a legitimate judge in this universe that will mark you down for wearing a helmet in any class. But if you wanna wear a cowboy hat, then I really suggest that you learn how to pin it on. And it's so stinking simple. I will be honest with you, it's not super comfortable, no. but it's worth it, yeah. okay? And once you get to riding, you'll you won't even notice it okay um morgan's hat has a little bit of wiggle room it fits her pretty good now i will say uh you can add a little bit of hat tape in here or even just fold up some paper towel and put it under the brim and it will um it'll pad it up and make it just a little snugger for you if you'd like but let's still learn that okay so here we go. So let me show you this. So there is, hopefully they can see, there's a straight side and the jagged side of the bobby pin. And I'm going to basically place this with the flat side next to her head and then try to grab the hat band. We'll talk a little bit about hat anatomy here. This black piece here is the hat band. All hats should have it. Um, and I am going to essentially, I have this backwards now. Sorry. Yes, please show them using my teeth. My dentist would be so thrilled with me. Okay. You're basically going to put the bobby pin on one side of the hat band and scoop up hair on the other side. That's essentially. But this is much easier for me to show with it on your beautiful noggin. Okay. So I don't know that it matters. Will you hold the other bobby pin for me? I don't know that it matters too much that the flat side is next to their head, but I would just imagine that it's less likely to poke at their head. Okay. So I am going to scoop her hair in with it and then tip your head that way, Margie, so they can see the hat band. And I'm going to get the other side of the bobby pin around the hat band. Okay, see that? Probably a pretty good shot here. Uh -huh. And then I'm just going to push up. Okay, now it's tightly secured to her hair. That's like game changer. No wind is taking this fella off. All right, you can do two if you want um, on each side, but I don't think it's necessary. Now we're gonna do it on the other side. You can also try to put a pin back here. Sometimes you'll notice the hat bands, you might just catch the wrong spot of the hat band. So just try a different spot, uh, but it should slide in pretty easily. Um, if you're doing this for a little kiddo, they might whine a little cause it's probably not the most comfortable. Just try your best. But we have a teenager here, she's pretty tough. Okay, so get it tight enough where it's on there, but not so tight that she feels like she's getting a facelift. So you can always pull it down a little bit. All right, how's it feel though? It feels good. Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if it, you've got a really sensitive spot, if you put it in wrong, just adjust it. Like take it out and put it in again. Um, I will say that when you take it out, okay, so you just ride like this, all right? It's wonderful. It will not come off no matter how windy the day is, okay? It'll be great, even if the hat's a little too big for you. Um, when you do pull it out, sometimes it does mess up the ponytail a little bit and give you some more flyaway, so you might have to touch that up. It really didn't um, too much there, though. So I hope this is a useful tip. I hope, especially as a judge and as a fellow exhibitor, I hope that you take heed and you try this out uh, so you don't have to worry about your hat flying off. You'll save a lot of ring stewards' lives, too. 
right? I've got a ring steward holding the phone. So she's had to run and chase a lot of hats before. So please pin your hat on. Let's do it one more time and show them. Take the bobby pin, the smooth side towards the head, grab the hair, try to grab the hair, grab the hat band, push up. Simple as that, guys. Bye.